Budbonggao is a 250 hectare treasure, full of diversity and one of the last remaining moist forests in the Sulu archipelago. It is also the first site in ARMM to be administered completely by the local government. It has been a community effort for Tawi-Tawi to protect Budbonggao. Sinasabi ng lahat ng mga locals dito, hindi kumpleto yung bisita mo sa Municipality of Bongao Tawi-Tawi kung hindi mo naakit yung kanilang highest peak o yung pinakmataas na tuktok sa kanilang lungsod, ang Budbongao. Uh, isa itong, uh, luckily, uh, it just finished construction kasi dati, bundok lang talaga siya ngayon, na-develop siya kahit pa paano para sa mga turista para hindi naman sila mahirapan o makiat. So literally, meron ng hagdanan patungo talaga sa tuktok. So sa mga yun mahanap, diba? Highest peak sa isang lungsod, may hagdanan pa, diba? A little background lang, Budbunggao ang tawag sa kanya kasi uh, in their native language, Bud actually means mountain or bundok. So, Bud Bungao means um, bundok ng Bungao, basically. Okay, after about 20 minutes na kami nag the trek pa pataas. 20 minutes ba? Wala pa tayong 10 minutes siguro. Okay, after 10 minutes of trekking up, medyo hinihinga na kasi medyo inclined talaga siya. Buti na lang meron siya mga waiting sh waiting sheds na parang ganito para makapagpahinga ka. The mountain of Bungao actually is considered a sacred mountain for all of the locals here, both for Christian and for Muslims. Kasi sinasabi nila na one of their, most of their ancestors noong unang panahon, eh dito nila na ilitibing. Kaya minsan, nagiging pilgrimage site rin siya for all the devotees, kumbaga, and their particular religions. On your way to the peak, meron mga sasalubong sa inyo mga monkey or makak. Na it is, it is advised to give the bananas to them when you're on the peak already para hindi sila bumababa. Kahit na meron na siyang hagdanan, concrete na stairs, medyo mahirap talaga siya. So just imagine, yesterday yung mga ultramarathoners pumunta dito to complete the marathon. Grabe! They had to run. They had to race for it. So you can just imagine yung exhaustion na kanilang makahita after the race. Pero okay din sa site na ito is fresco siya, well shaded so kasi hindi ka talaga madali ma dehydrate dito kumaga twenty minutes twenty five minutes tayo naglalakad no a 
trek to the top usually takes an hour to complete. But with scenery such as these, it is hard to reduce the rest spots for your photo ops. We are nearly at the peak. As you can see, it's a foggy the surroundings. Natin. Relatively, it's not as good as it's should be. It's a good thing. 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 It's a good Sure, I'm picking them out up the whole party. talaga siya ng government amounting to 56 million pesos oh. Okay, so nandito na tayo sa view deck mismo um, Wala tayong makita kundi fog Pero I would highly, I still appreciate it because of the climate Papalipad ba kami ng drone? Papalipad ba kami ng drone? Heck no! I'm officially chilling here, about 300 feet above sea level, the highest peak in the Tawi Tawi province. It's quite a challenging trek, even na meron na siyang concrete na stairs, pero still worth the experience kasi di ba sa tawi tawi pagbaba natin medyo mainit beach island life pero dito parang it can be in the um, side of the ocean and top of a mountain on the same day okay niya na pang adventure kung bago so whenever you're here kung tapos kayo sa pista ng bungao always give this good bungao visit sa hindi mo naman siya mareregret and clear out the fog contest. We have a view of Bungao. So about 20 minutes siguro baka makita na natin yung buong Bungao and hopefully tumigil yung rain para baka mapalmat natin yung drone. little things that we can't be able to take granted. Right behind me is the municipality of Bungao, the Tawi Tawi province. It's really diverse here when you're a tourist, quite diverse. Because you can see mountain here. And it's not just the same as the Dagat. It's world-class caliber Dagat. Bungao is more than just Tawi Tawi's tourist spot. It is the symbol of the people's strong connections with their spirituality, with respect to other religions and beliefs. This mountain has been a place that brought Christians and Muslims together where they can pray and be astonished at the creation in peace and harmony. 
With the recent modernizations in Mindanao, the future is looking bright for the province of Tawi-Tawi. Agriculture, fishing, and agal-agal seaweed farming are the leading source of livelihood of its people. Business is looking good for the province, but a lot can still be done for the tourism industry. It all boils down to how we perceive this province. Some say that it isn't safe, but actually, the province has one of the lowest crime rates in the whole country. It is hard to take notice of these things when we look at it from afar. But believe me, there's a lot more in store for us. There's no reason to be afraid. The people of Tawi-Tawi are actually looking forward to your visit.